All right, this is Tabletop Simulator with the new the new Vive, um, Vive support. So right off the bat, this is the main menu, and this is kind of a nice feature I haven't seen in uh, many other games. Uh, the menu, the giant menu screen uh, moves when you turn. So it kind of st always stays in front of you like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this thing is like, I don't know, probably 12 feet by 12 feet or something like that. But so you, these are your controllers and pick up single player here. Uh, all right, let's just try something basic. Um, let's do chess. So kind of puts the table here and uh, you got these two controls over here, which are kind of interesting. So scale is, I think it's your scale, because when you do less than, it actually makes it larger. And this is kind of cool, because it gets gets bigger, and kind of, you know, this is nicer. I wouldn't have to bend down as much. Everything is larger, and so just check this shit out. So you can just reach in, pick up any piece, drop it wherever you want. Uh, it just feels so it's intuitive and cool I like this so you could also target it long range like if you pull the trigger you can kind of move pieces around like that which would make more sense in larger games which you know what let's bring that up might as well bring up a cooler looking game uh, here's this Zaya Legends of the Drift System is a cool mod that I've been messing around with like this is freaking badass All right, uh, this <laughs> all right the scales a little bit off now, so let me make myself a little bit larger. I mean, I'm standing like in the middle of the table here. Like I see all these pieces, you know, all these pieces for the game surrounding me. Uh, I could play at this view, <laughs> you know, if you actually wanted to move around. So like if you pull the tile in this game, you pull the tiles from this bag. So I would pull this out, bring it over here, uh, and then let's see. So. There's actually a few that you start with, so actually, you know what? Let's put the back, if it goes in there, and I'll show you shuffling. So I think it's up on the, the, the uh, what should I call it, the trackpad shuffles. So if I point at the bag and click that, it's shuffling the bag, and now, okay, now I pull out this random tile. Let's bring out a couple more, and let's, well, you know, so you can, just like in the original, the base game, you can set the values that you rotate and everything. So that's this is rotating left and right on the trackpad. So this one, so in this game you try to match up these, you have to match up those lines there. So that would be, yeah, this seems, it's a little bit touchy, like right now, it's so right there, I thought I was moving around. But all right, so this would be like that. That's how these pieces would latch up. This one over here. a little bit too much of that would be like that but I mean actually they kind of go over here be something like that uh, then you move your pieces out so let's say this was my ship I uh, bring this out here oh I want to just grab it so reach out here so I'm on that spot and it automatically this mod is good because it automatically tracks the individual uh, 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 hexes or whatever on the on the board there so let's say I wanted to move five so I could be like one two three four five and now I'm over here you can rotate all right check this out so if you want to look close up at a piece uh, in the base game you just hold alt and you can kind of look at anything so in this it's the grips so if I hold the grip on this ship and it's a little bit buggy but do you guys mm, see it seems to me like whenever I look up at it it disappears but I am holding a giant one of those ships in my hand I think I can rotate it too maybe no maybe not but I mean that's crazy or you know, so now I'm holding up a giant tile like there's that tile if I wanted to get a close-up on it if it wasn't if I didn't want to actually walk over there uh, you push you pull the grips again to put it away but like if I wanted to see that guy's card <laughs> there's now a two foot
card right in front of my face that I can read. Put that back. Uh, let's see, what else can we show you? Rolling, I'm not such a huge fan of yet. I don't know, maybe they can... Maybe I'll read something that makes it easier, but like, so... All right, first of all, let's move. So if I want to move over there, get these dice. So this is the part that... So if I want to roll one dice, it's not that bad. Kind of just roll it normal. I can see from here it's five. If I roll like... Eh, these dice are pretty good because I can see from far away, but like I have to go over here and actually check that that's a 12. It's the rolling multiple dice. Like, it seems like you have to... So if you hold down the trigger, you, like, draw a square. But now it's going to be selecting that, too, which normally I would lock that. But it's a little unwieldy. Let me try this again. So let's say I wanted to roll... Well, if I wanted to roll, let's say, yellow, yellow, blue, green, I guess I could bring them out here. And then do this. I don't know if that actually rolled them. There we go. It's it's okay. It just, I don't know, it feels a little weird. And like I said, maybe I'll read something that makes it seem better. Uh, let's see, what else? Cards. Just pull a card off the deck here. Flip it is... Let's flip. So that would put it in my hand, but let's say I wanted it here. This is one of the mission cards. Flipping is down? Hold on. Let me move it out here. See, that's, it's, the trackpad seems a little touchy, like, the center of the trackpad is what you press to teleport. And so every time you see that purple line, it's in teleport mode. But it seems to do that even when I'm just trying to hit down on the pad there. I mean, I just gotta be, learn to be better about that, but, uh, so, yeah. If I wanted to hold that card up again. Ooh, that holds the wood piece. That's cards. Let's see, what else? These are pieces that you can add onto your ship. So, let's say this was my ship over here. So I can bring this over. Uh, I want to slot this in. Whoa! See, so normally I would lock the ship tile. They might have that already. I don't know, but... Alright, so... I guess what you could do is... Ro see, this touch... The trackpad seems... I guess I'm kind of getting hanged. So I right, move it like that. Drop the piece in there like that. And let's say... Well, that's a big one. Let's get rid of that. Let's say I wanted to slot that and that. So these are... What is this? This is my engines. So I'll slot that there. And then slot that there, or if I wanted to rotate, see that's how it's, yeah, it gets a little messy there. Gotta figure out locking, that's definitely gonna be key. I mean, if they just had like a right click menu, which again, maybe they have, I just don't know if I see it. This is like the normal game menu, but yeah, there's, I, I when I'm playing this game, I love to lock, so, you know, various pieces that I don't want to be like accidentally moving around, so hopefully they have some way of doing that. Uh, what else is, what else have I seen that's kind of cool? Let's bring up a different game here. Workshop. Um, well, I could bring up Tainted Syringe's Twilight Imperium mod, even though I still don't know how to play. These are great controller skins, by the way. It's great for when you're playing with other people. You can just tell them, hit the green button, hit the orange button, whatever. Oh, shit! Alright, so this is the giant Twilight Imperium board. You can see my arms are stretched out. Full wingspan, and I'm still not covering the whole size of the board. Let's try changing it. Let's say I was going to make myself bigger. Make the board... Now I'm really large. I mean, this is kind of cool because I can, like, you know, manipulate the whole board from down here. Let's flip that. All right, so I guess if you 
seems to be if your thumb is on it. Maybe not. Uh, all right, so let's try moving the floor up. So it'd be nicer if this was just up higher. So I guess, or is that making the floor larger? Or it makes the floor closer to the board? <laughs> I think it just makes the floor. Oh, so maybe what I want is to make it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know, it seems a little bit strange, but anyway. So now everything is right up here in front of me. These dice are way too small. I would definitely want to be a larger scale. Or me, I would be a smaller scale. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, all right, so in that case, we want to bring the floor back down. This is getting a little better. These dice are still hard to grab. We can get one. Let's try something else. Oh wow! I just realized. I just noticed the whole background. Mm, interesting. All right. Let's. Wow. Let's try. Nope. Yeah. Uh, Mage Knight maybe, or... Sure, let's try Mage Knight. I love Mage Knight. Gets a little bit choppy while the games are loading. Kind of want to stand still. Ooh, fuck yeah! Alright, it's really large. But it's just so cool. Uh... All right, maybe I want to make it not quite so large. All right, where are the decks? I forget. So, sure, let's say, I put, ooh, that's my character. So, it goes there. Whoops. Whoops. All right, move the bag, the cards, that's my deck. Let's pretend that's my, oh, this is shit. I'm putting stuff into my hand. All right, what we want is to move that over here. Bring that, put it back in there. Let's flip the whole deck. You know what, I'm gonna stand in the middle of the room here. All right. All right, so, oh God, this is so fucking cool. All right, so uh, let's shuffle my deck, pick up the whole deck, bring it over, D deck, D deck, you're right? Yeah, that's it. And let's say, so I had a hand of six or whatever it is. I could, I'll have to look into making a hand, but anyway, so let's say these are all the cards I got. And again, the reading, oh, it's, these are much, seems to be much higher detail than that other, uh, the other scan I was looking at. Uh, this is so cool. All right, so. Neat, very neat. Uh, what else do you do in this? Where are the tiles? So these, that's the tile deck. Let's move out there. All right, the tile deck. These. Shuffly? Do you have to create the tile deck? I haven't actually played this mod. I played the real game, but let's see. Countryside tiles. Oh, there's a... Oh! All right. So that was... That would have gone there. Ah, I moved my guy. One, two, three. And there's a castle tile. Or stronghold, whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, let's bring on another one of these. Flip that. That is lines up like that, and you got the castle tile. God, this plays so just smoothly. Like it's just so intuitive. I fucking love this. All right. Countryside tile. Let's flip that. I'm looking for. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All 
All right, that's right there. Got the orcs. Come on, flip over. Do those flip? Let's see. Okay, it does seem kind of touchy, that whole thing. All right. Oh, it's awesome. So cool. So cool! Uh, what else is in here? The crystals, the dice. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, you get the gist. Uh, that's this is super cool i can't wait to actually play with people i have heard it's kind of annoying uh for a non-vive person to play with a vibe person because i guess you see like if you were looking down you would see my head and you know my hands and the lasers and all that sort of stuff and that's got to be super annoying so uh it's just an alpha right now so hopefully they you know i'm guessing they're gonna kind of make that optional or tweakable but anyway super cool stuff